It's about time you raised your prices. This is a common topic I get asked either directly or I see it in groups whereby someone is providing a hosting or a web design maintenance service and they charge their clients a certain value. But then they feel like due to their branding or their business, they've now grown or scaled up and they're now able to charge more. But they've got these legacy clients where they built a website for say $200 or they're only charging them $20 a month for website maintenance. And the client contacts them, you know, maybe three, four years down the line. You know, you've got you've had the client for four years now and, you, and that's what they paid and they're still paying that. And now they want some changes and they just pay $20 a month. And if it was a brand new client, you'd probably charge them like $150, $200 because of the amount of tasks or the amount of time it takes. But you feel slightly afraid with going back to the client and saying the prices have gone up. There's a little bit of guilt. There's a little bit of shame. There's a little bit of, well, the client's all right and I don't want to lose them. Let me give you the reality check, okay? How many of you have got Amazon Prime, right? Most of you, I reckon. Did you notice how like a month ago or a while ago now, they started introducing adverts? And you got to pay, I think, $2.99 or something to get rid of the adverts. Hold on a moment. Amazon Prime, I remember, was about $70 odd dollars. Now it's $95 or 95 pounds, whatever. I don't know. I'm getting mixed up with the currencies now. But 95 British pounds, it's gone up by, you know, almost 20% odd. And now I've got to pay extra to get rid of the adverts. Hold on. I'm not happy about that. I'm, I'm irritated but I'll let it go. You know why? Because that's the reality of the world, isn't it? Mobile phone bills go up. Uh, subscriptions go up. You have a choice to go elsewhere. I could, if I want, cancel my Netflix and go elsewhere or whatever, but I won't. I quite like what I've got. I'm okay with my Disney Plus or whatever. I'll stick to it. The same goes with clients as well, okay? If you were charging $20 a month four years ago, and that's all they pay, but now you would charge $50 or $60 per month, you need to let your clients know. And sometimes a good period is when it gets to a new financial year. And maybe you need to give them some lead to it as well. You let them know, look, I just want you to know that our prices have gone up massively. However, I'm going to honor that until the end of the financial year, maybe. You know, give them maybe three or four months to adjust to it. So you're letting them know the prices are going to go up or you let them know that, look, if they decide to go elsewhere, here are some other options they may want to consider. So be nice about it. And if they need to migrate their website over, then will either be a charge for it if they want you to support them or you will just give them, you know, a backup file all in one migration. I'm already going down the worst case scenario, right? But when it comes to legacy clients, who just pay a minimal amount because that's what you charge then. And even and there may even be situations where they're not paying a minimal amount. It might be that they're paying $100 a month. But you've now gone from a small agency or a freelancer that only had maybe three or four projects a month to now having loads and you've got a team and you've got other things to do as well. Now you have the right to maybe, uh, that's the wrong word, isn't it? You don't have the right but you have the prerogative. That's not even right as well. You've got the kudos to increase your prices, okay? You have built up this uh, brand whereby $200 per month isn't even enough. I know agencies out there that charge some of their clients $1,000 per month and their clients happily pay it because of the particular service they get from them. So if you've got clients, okay, and you want to increase prices because that's what they were paying before, which no longer suits your business model. Go and do it. I had a client. Um, we built their website a long time ago for 240 okay? Uh, 240 pounds, which is about, I don't know, 300 and something dollars, okay? It was a very, very basic website. When I say two pages, you could just about call it two pages, okay? But there was some stuff on it, but it was very, very bare bones. But still, 240 uh, British pounds. They come back to me and they now want to add in extra pages. And I'm like, yep, yeah, okay, fine. Da, 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 da. That's going to come to £4,000. They were horrified. But I explained to them that we've changed as a business. 
we've changed in what we do, how we do things and the value. And they weren't happy, but I did say to them, well, hold on a moment, right? And they were going off on one on the phone, like really giving it all that. You know, how dare you? They were a psychotherapist. And I said to them, what do you currently charge now? And they told me, I can't remember the values, okay, but what they charge now. And I says, what were you charging three and a half years ago? And the difference between that and that was, it wasn't huge. To give you an example, it was something like they'd gone from something like £35 an hour to about 40 42 or something. It wasn't a huge increase, but that was something to do with um, their uh, target market kind of thing and the, uh, the people they were um, providing a service for, okay? Um, in terms of they were going for a particular market, okay, and they knew a lot of their clients did not have a lot of money. It was psychotherapist, but it was their particular market. And I said to them, what would you charge if you were now worldwide known? I'm not saying we're worldwide known, but I'm saying if you were suddenly now being booked out for conferences and venue speakers and all of that, and you're now in magazines and, you know, the British journal for psychotherapy. I don't even know if there is such a thing, right? People know you now. People want to work with you. You know, you're all over the place. Would you still charge 42, let's say, pound an hour? And they were like, well, no, I'd probably increase my prices. I said, to what? To what? And they were like, I don't know, but it could go quite high. I went, yeah, you could probably charge like 500 pounds. You know, and I had to drop in quickly the analogy about solicitors. Some solicitors do charge that an hour. I go, right. So are you saying then that when you become well known, I have a right to say, no, you have to charge £42 an hour because that's what you charged me two years ago. And they could not answer that. And that is the reality. OK, if something changes in your business model or your brand or the way you work, you can increase your price. OK, if you've got clients, you know, um, I know someone who charges their clients something like six pounds a month for um, hosting and the odd maintenance update. And if they have any problems with their images or their text, they can contact them. And on top of that, they provide them with an Elemental Pro license for six pounds a month. Now, don't forget, this person has got like a thousand, but it's not us, but they've got a thousand licenses. So they can, you know, they're happy. But six pounds. A month. That's thirty-six pounds. Hold on, did I do my maths right then? No, it's not thirty-six pounds. Six pounds a month. Seventy-two pounds. Damn, my brain went a bit bush then. Seventy-two pounds a year, right? And that client could come back to them every month for the odd little tweak or change or update or there's a bit of an issue, and they provide the hosting and the email and all of that. They did that years ago, right? This is someone I know, okay? This is what they did. They're still only getting £6 a month for that business. And that business is doing okay, right? They're not rolling in money, but they're doing okay. They use the website, the social media points to that website, okay? They're using it for their business. Now, that person would probably charge, I don't, can't remember what their prices are, but they're probably around 30, 40 pounds a month, right? They don't do a huge amount, but that's what they'd probably charge. Six pound a month versus 30 to 40. And they are afraid of going back to the client and saying the prices have gone up. And I've said to them, why? Why are you afraid? Oh, but the client might go elsewhere. And I'm like this, you will lose 72 pounds a year. That is what you will lose. How much work do you do for them? And they, you know, I mean, I, I cannot remember the values, but let's just say it's about an hour a month. OK, so I'm saying to them, you'll lose 72 pounds a year. You'll gain back about 12 and a bit hours, right? One hour a month, right? Roughly 12 hours a year as well. There's probably other stuff you've got to do. I bet you've got to make sure their updates are OK. So there's probably extra time added on there as well. Maybe there's a vulnerability. Maybe their email quota because they use their email gets filled up. There's all this unseen, uncosted um, time that you're not even thinking about that you're putting in for that client. But you're still charging six pounds. What is that in dollars? Uh, eight dollars roughly a month or some give or take, something like that. Right. Eight, eight, whatever. 
Is it really worth it? So unless that client is really, really important and that client helps you to get other clients as well because they know people and whatnot, it ain't really worth it. So I do think that if you've got legacy clients where you've got like set prices that you were paying or charging, whether it's for maintenance or building a page or doing tweaks here and there, your business model has changed and you're now gone upwards. You have to increase your prices and you let them know. And if they don't like it and they want to go elsewhere, you let them go. You be nice about it, but you always remind them of where you are, right? Who you are and what you do. If they ever need that support, you will provide it. But your prices could be even more different next year. Hey, look, I'm Imran Web Squad, and I would love to know your comments about this topic. Uh, do you agree or disagree? Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.